starting the new year off on the right foot. Good way to start the decade. First one of the decade, so yeah. good to get, get one under our belt. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds ran and even more cheered on at the 23rd annual Chili Chili Run. It's nice. People know this is someplace you can come on New Year's Day. After all of that running in the chili weather, we've got a reward. We have a meat lover's chili, a vegetarian chili, and it's all part of a big chili brunch to kick off the new year. Whether you're in it to win it. Who had the faster time? He did. She did. <laughs> he did. She did. No, no, he did. Or just staying active. I'm really not a runner. I'm a swimmer. I just, I do running for cross training. I used to be a triathlete, but I gave up the biking in order to uh, concentrate on uh, open water swimming. At 76, Anne is still trying to make a personal best. 76 years old, that's, I got my number. I broke an hour, but I'm still not down to the time I was doing before I uh, pulled my hamstring. The 5K is all for a good cause. Since its start, the Chili Chili Run has raised money for the Amity Teen Center. So this is our big fundraiser of the year. And it's just wonderful to see all these people come out every year. Some of these people I've seen year after year. In Orange, Susie Hunter, News 8.